So welcome back to Hero Next Door. Thank you all for joining us for another Station Rig. We are in Everton, Virginia, and I'm working with Josh, one of the lieutenants here, and he's taking us around this very special rig. Josh, can you tell us a little bit about this thing? Yeah, so this is uh, Utility 17. It's our first responder EMS vehicle here, uh, our main first responder EMS vehicle. It's a 2021 Chevy Silverado SSV, which is a specialty service vehicle. Um, it's got the police package on here. Um, so it was specially made by Chevrolet for like police, fire, and EMS use. Right, so with that, you get the bigger brakes, you get the yep. transmission coolers, you get mm -hmm. all that other stuff that you can't get from the lay public. Yep. Well, how about we take this back to the house and open it up and show the, all our viewers what's actually inside? Yeah. So Josh, this is an awesome platform to have for an EMS response vehicle. What do you actually have in it? Can you show us? Yeah, come on, let's go take a look. Okay. So the first thing we'll start off with, we actually have back here in this back seat. So we are one of the two departments in Campbell County that actually carries a drone with us for emergency response. Okay. So in here, we got a DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise. It's got thermal capability and Pretty much it's just a very high quality drone. We can use it for a lot of search and rescue operations. Uh, you can use it for brush fires to figure out the size of them. It's got a speaker spotlight. You know, it just has a whole magnitude of different different types of uses for us. Yeah, this is pretty cool to see. You know, there are t some departments that we went to out in Indiana that are starting to use mm -hmm. drones, but you know, it's very rare that we've been seeing them here on the East Coast. And the fact that you have all the accessories to go with it really can make a big difference on how quickly you can spot those fires. Yeah. Over here kind of goes with the drone. In here, we're able to file flight plans for uh, no TAMs or notice to airmen. Uh, in terms of flying the drone, just to let people know, hey, we're operating in this airspace, you know, try and avoid it as much as you can. We've got a radio here for the airport that allows us to contact, you know, air traffic control or any planes in the area just due to our proximity to the airport. Okay. A lot of times, if we are going to be flying our drone, doing any sort of mission, we do have to let them know. Okay. How close are you to the airport? I didn't see one when I was driving in. Yeah, so we're probably about... I'd say 15 miles from the Lynchburg Regional Airport. It just so happens that our station is actually in the takeoff and landing path. Okay, right. So pretty much our entire response area is in the takeoff and landing path, but we have a special permission from the FAA to be able to operate our drone and these emergency situations, and we're able to use it here for training as well. Right. Yeah, I love the fact that, you know, fire companies are using this technology to, you know, really assist them in taking care of the, the neighbors and, and the community by, you know, throwing the drones up, you can actually do that 360 mm. fairly quickly. And like you said, if you have thermal on that, you can actually spot some of the hot spots sure. pretty quickly too. In terms of search and rescue, it gives us the coordinates. So if we locate the person, we can get the coordinates for where the drone is at that time. And, you know, it works hand in hand with our UTV. We can give the coordinates to the people on the UTV. They have a GPS and they can get directly to them. Right, right. And to have a whole computer set up, that's pretty yep. slick. So here we just got some other PPE, just some some like Tyvek suits here with this being an EMS vehicle. We've got some eye protection, some towels. Uh, we got a couple of blankets here. Sure, your typical EMS yep. stuff. Because you guys use this as a first responder. You're yes. not in an advanced or ALS level. You're that BLS level, correct? Yes, exactly. Okay. So we're only able to practice to a BLS level at this time. We may have plans in the future to go to the ALS level, but we aren't there yet. Okay, okay. So if I were in your neighborhood and I, or I just moved down here and I wanna get a hold of you guys and I wanna volunteer with you, how do I go about doing that? Yeah, so the easiest way to do that would be just look up Evington Volunteer Fire Department. We have the uh, Campbell County website. Uh, it's got the email for us, it's got our phone number, it has the applications uh, for being a member down here. Um, and then also on top of that, we have our uh, special meetings the second, third, and fourth Monday night of the month. Um, so if you'd like to come down here, say hi, we'll definitely get you set up. Okay, do I need education uh, in order to apply or do you kind of teach 
me what I need to do. Because maybe I'm coming down and, and I'm just getting interested in it or I'm younger and I don't have that education yet. Do you guys provide that or do I need to get that from a college? We will provide all the education you need. You can come with no experience whatsoever. The biggest thing is we just want you to show that you're willing to learn. We'll provide all the education that you may possibly need. All right, we're working our way over around the back here. Back here, we've got a uh, command slide out. Okay. So here we've got, you know, an extra radio. We've got a whole command worksheet board here. This is um, nice. For accountability tags. We've got our radios here uh, for fire ground operations. Um, we've got actually a little tool bag here for different things. Like okay. if we may need to use it to disassemble something on a scene. Right. Things like that. This is something I would normally see like in a chief's truck. Yeah. So, so this is actually set up very similar to our chief's truck. Okay. But this is used mainly more for firefighting and for EMS. Okay. So the idea with this is if this arrives, this can take the command setting. This could be our command post until our chief arrives. Nice. Okay. And this whole thing slides out. Yep. Are you able to slide it out and see what's in the back there? All right. I can immediately see your first aid stuff. So your AED, your suction unit. Yeah. So over here, we just got our AED portable suction. This is our trauma bag in here. It's got different gauze. Right. Um, it's got some uh, saline for cleaning, things like that. Okay, okay. This right here is our main first in bag. It's got our, all of our airway supplies, our vital signs. You can check uh, blood glucose, things like that. It's also got OB kits here on the side in case it was an OB. Right, car. right, right. Which is a BLS skill to start with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and it looks like you got a water can too, yep. a couple lights. We got our water can, some stream light, uh, I think it's Vulcan box lights. Okay. So we got mounted here some cones, a bucket of high drive needed. Okay, now having the cones and stuff, do you ever use this as what we would call fire police to help control traffic and stuff too? Yeah, every now and again we will. So it really just depends on where we are, depends on what trucks are there. If needed, we can set this up to kind of help control traffic, help with like buffer zones or shutting down a road. Okay, okay, and I also noticed the typical glass master there, yep. and you still got your center punch, those yep. always get lost, so that's oh, a good yeah. place to put that. Yep stays right here it's actually a newer one we got when we got this truck we got our can of flares here as well in case those are needed right right and then over here on the other side we've got some abc fire extinguishers our msag one scba we got our set of irons eight pound sledgehammer and some bolt cutters yeah yeah this is basically the the basic tools that you need yep. for firefighting yep that's the idea behind it to where you know if you were to roll up on something in this let's say i'm clear from an ems call and you know i just happen to roll up on a house fire i'm here i have the basic tools that i need so i can go ahead get a 360 done um, go ahead and take command if needed, you know, once the engine arrives, go ahead and force entry, make entry into the structure if needed in case there's, you know, possible entrapment. Now, do you normally run this with two providers, one provider? How many do you try to get out with the truck? Yeah, so in terms of EMS calls, we uh, mainly run with one provider. Okay. Um, we may have two depending on the availability. Okay. But in terms of fire calls, with this being a utility, if it gets added to a fire call, a lot of times it's for rehab, so we'll just run it with one. Okay. Now, when we were driving around, I noticed you have a lot of stuff on the center console. You look like a computer and stuff. Can you talk me through some of that and what you got up front too? Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. go take a look. All right. So here on the center console, right there, we've mainly got our CAD system um, on our iPad. Uh, Campbell County was nice enough to go ahead and provide some of them for us. So every department has a CAD system. So basically, when 911 receives a call, they'll put it into their computer system. Uh, if we get added to it, it will show up on there. Um, it will actually show us on the map exactly where it is, zoom really big into it so you can get a nice view of the house and just let you know like what are different dangers that may be there, especially with you know Google Maps being updated here recently. So. Right, right. A lot of the new CAD systems that we have, they actually show us where hydrants are and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Does that also do that? Unfortunately, that one will not show us where hydrants are. The county's main system will. For us, we mainly get that on our phones when we get the alerts. We right. have it all mapped out in there so we can find it on our phones. Okay, so if I were you know a newer company or a company that's looking to get a vehicle like this, does this do I just order this from a specific company or do I get it made? How does that go ahead? Work? Yeah, so uh, with the state of or the Commonwealth of Virginia, uh, Chevrolet actually has a contract with the uh, Commonwealth of Virginia. So uh, in terms of getting a vehicle like this, we just have to get in contact with Chevrolet. They will make it 
or if they have one available, they'll just sell it to us. And then there's different companies around here that'll actually outfit it like they did with the uh, camper shell on the back and then the light system. Okay, okay. Other than that, it's a very beautiful truck. When we were driving around, it's definitely a smooth truck. It's oh, yeah. quick too. Oh yeah. So I appreciate you taking us around. You know, thank you for showing us yeah, what you have here. I love the fact that you have that drone. So yeah. once again, this is Heroes Next Door with another station rigs with Evington, Virginia Fire Department. Thank you all for watching. Before we end, hit that subscribe, hit that notification, smash those like buttons, make a comment, but also join the members page so you can get some of the behind the scenes footage and a lot of extras. We'll see you again next week.